Hello everyone, this is Mrs. Long and I'd like to give you a tutorial tour of Schoology, uh, particularly for those of you who are new to working with Schoology, but it's always a good refresher for those of you who have been with us before. Um, when you log into Schoology, you're going to get to a home page that looks something like this. You'll know that Schoology is very similar to fa Facebook, so you begin with your feed. You'll land on what's called the updates page and you'll get messages from various people, various teachers, various groups that just give you updates on what's happening. Um, on the left side of your screen, I have a few more things than you do here, but on the left side, you'll have that recent activity or updates page, information about your grades, you'll have a calendar that you can access with due dates and different things going on with the school, and people so that you can get in touch with other people other uh, students, other teachers that are with the Virtual Academy or throughout Jef Jefferson County actually. Um, so some of these might be very useful to you. On the top side you have your home page which you can always come back to. The courses and we'll look at this in more depth in a moment but this, you'll have a drop down menu with the courses that you're taking. Um, over here you'll have groups. I have the J21VA teacher group. You can certainly join the J21VA student group for updates and happenings and field trips and connection. Um, so that's something you'll want to check out. And under resources, you'll have a, a place where you can get uh, particularly apps and connect with Google, Google Drive. We'll, we'll talk about that in just a moment. But this is more or less the tour. You do have a profile as a user that you'll see over here and you can modify that, add a picture to it, um, description and so forth. You will see individual mail here. I have one message waiting for me. You have connections or invitations to join, uh, connect with other people, and notifications. And the notifications will tell you that maybe a grade has been entered or someone has commented on your discussion post or something along that line. So lots going on. On the side of the screen, you're going to have calendar information. And that will include assignment due dates, um, when certain assignments are due for your different classes, uh, other events happening with the school like back to school night, uh, reminders about live sessions and so forth. So you'll want to use this calendar set, uh, section quite frequently so that you can stay in touch. So let's dive into a course. Remember you're going to come up here to your courses and I'm going to click on English 10 in the primary section of this class. And when you get to English 10 you'll want to look for updates and information. Nothing's been posted yet as we're um, not yet begun. But you'll all have information in the updates about due dates, changes in assignments, reminders, uh, information somebody may have missed, uh, maybe a, a funny joke or an interesting word, just all kinds of things. So you'll land on the updates page and you'll get these updates. And you should look for something at least every day uh, just to, to know what's going on. You'll use functions like the gradebook to be able to check on your grades as you proceed through the course so that you uh, are not surprised at the end if your grade is lower or higher than what you thought it was. You can check this regularly to get feedback on your assignments. Um, but the main thing you'll be using here is the materials tab. So note that you can uh, flag down on some of these and go directly to folders this way or you can click on materials and just for fun I'll click on the materials here. And it will take you to a page that has all the information for your course. Um, for this course, I've got a folder for those of you who are new, and if you actually got to this video, you probably went through this folder called Start Here, which has some orientation videos, including this one. Uh, in this folder, the Teacher Info folder, you have my contact information, and uh, that's a little bit more about me here, and a video that I created uh, a couple years ago, or last year, about just about myself, so you know that there's a person on the other side of this the computer screen. Um, you'll want to look at this week the course info and syllabus. That those, these are the rules of the game. This is where you find out uh, what's going on, how your grade is determined, what you need, materials, things like that. So you'll want to spend some time looking at the, the syllabus here. There is a quiz on it this week. So you'll take a look at that and be up to date on everything you need to know. Uh, as an extra bonus, I've added a folder called Keys to Success, and there is a form here you can open, and it's just got some tips on how to be a good student, and in particular, how to be a great online student. 
things that are going to make you get to the end of the semester and go, yes, I did it, and be really pleased with yourself. Um, so that's that. And then the, the green folder here is a folder you're going to use quite frequently, which is our English 10 units. And I will get to that in just a moment. And here you have resources that include tech resources, so things like turn it in and how do I do Google Apps and what if I have Macs and I'm using Pages and where can I get help with technology if that's what I'm struggling with. And then I have some English resources as well, things like how you use MLA citation, um, how you give short answers or paragraphs using the PEA format, we're going to look at that this week, and some other kind of links that you can use for getting help reviewing your writing. And the last folder you want to look at under materials is the link to our live session in Blackboard Collaborate. There is a live session every week at 10 o'clock, 10 to 10.30, where you can meet me online and get help in real time. So we can look at your paper together. Uh, I may be presenting short units, short mini units, or explanations of assignments that you may want to join. But you'll click on this in order to get to that. You will need to have some things installed before you get to it, so definitely don't wait until 9.59 if you're trying to join that day session, because it will take a while to get your computer set up, but that's where it will be. Okay, so back to the English 10 unit. Um, this is again where your content is going to be. This is essentially the textbook of the course online. And you can see this first week, we have an introductory week where you're going to get all these videos and so forth and just learn about the course and learn about the classmates that you have. And then there are several units that you will go through during the semester. Uh, Raisin in the Sun is an excellent play on the theme of the dream deferred. So in section two, unit two, you'll be looking at short fiction, which is a short story. You'll be writing your own short story. Steinbeck is a famous American author who has a number of different pieces that show the influence of an author's experience on his writing and the influence of a writer's style. Uh, and then in the last section here, you'll be looking at a contemporary essay, and if time allows, you'll be reading a choice novel. So that's kind of giving you an idea. Each unit is subdivided into sessions, and each session represents approximately one week's work. So unit one, session one, is going to be one session of work, one, one week of work. Our weeks will begin on Monday and go until Sunday night. So the expectation then is that you will be um, turning everything in by that Sunday evening. But for the purposes of this video, this time period, this is the uh, folder that you'll be looking at first. The introductory week, you're going to be looking at some information about who I am, um, session overview, and there will always be in each session kind of a list of what, what it is we're working toward and the assignments that are included in that session and a schedule that you may want to follow as you're trying to structure your week and create some order in the flexibility that you have. Um, note that you can always navigate back using the top tabs here as well as the previous and the next buttons here. And I do highly recommend that when you get to a new unit you follow every screen in order. Number one way to succeed because then you know what the context is for an assignment. If you go straight to the assignment you're going to be very confused because you won't have the information that you needed to do the assignment well, and you'll probably have, end up with a lower grade on it. So do be aware that these are here to help you navigate, but you should not be skipping around too much. Try to follow in order. I just simply wanted to show you this page with a session overview. Again, you'll start with the first session and the first page, and you'll be com completing any assignments, work, viewing videos, and then just scrolling next through each of the session pages. Um, you will get to certain things that you may want to look at more carefully. You'll get to assignments that you're going to turn in. There is a quiz that you'll be looking at this week. You'll find all your quizzes again directly in Schoology. Some of them are timed, some of them are not. Um, you'll have some forms that may connect to Google Apps that you'll want to be aware of. Uh, you'll have discussion boards, and discussion boards are where we as a class, instructors and students, can share ideas together. This particular one is a discussion board just to get to know you, and so I will invite you to participate on that this week. 
you'll note that the rubric for the discussion board is here and th this is the discussion rubric used by all teachers at Jeffco Virtual so it's something to be familiar with basically the idea is you're going to want to post multiple times and at different times during the week so that you're really having a, an ongoing discussion not just something you do at the last minute again moving forward you're going to find content on different topics of the course and when you have an assignment that is due your assignments can be uploaded directly into Schoology. So you'll get to the end of your materials for a week or sometimes within the week and you will then upload your assignments and you'll, you'll see a place here where you can do that. You can upload a file that you created with Microsoft Word, you can upload uh, something directly into the box and just type it or you can sometimes provide a link to another place where I might find that. This would be um, particularly helpful if you were doing like a video or something. You could enter a link, a link there. And then you'll get to the end of your session and you'll see this sign. I believe this is kind of the universal end of sessions link for all Jeff Go Virtual courses. I could be wrong on that, but uh, certainly a, a sign that you're done with the session and you're going to go back to the beginning. So that's basically it. Again, this is all from the materials section that you're going to get to, the green folder here. Um, before you uh, go on and start diving into that content, you are going to want to make sure that you have things set up appropriately under resources so that your Google Drive and your Schoology accounts are connected. So you're going to go to resources, you're going to go to Google Apps, and this allows you to get your Google Drive connected. Uh, mine is already set up, but if you come in here initially, you'll see an option to add it. So you have your Google Drive with your Jeffco Google account information and your Schoology account. So it's all right there in one place. So definitely something to pay attention to. You'll also want to check your settings. You can express your preferences about notifications, your account settings, what you want to have happen, and so forth. Um, under account settings, how do you want to be displayed, do you want to have multiple emails, uh, and again you can also connect with your Google account here as well. So just take, definitely take a look at it and make sure that the preferences you have here are the ones you want. I definitely recommend that on your notifications you choose to be notified for any updates, comments on discussions, especially your posts, you want to be notified if your submission was received, um, any, that kind of thing. Um, so that's more or less it. You'll get the hang of Schoology very quickly. It's pretty user friendly, but if you have any questions, do be sure to ask. I look forward to working with you in this course and wish you luck this semester. Thanks.